Oh, hi there, friends. Today, we're going to have fun with numbers. Are you excited? Let's go! This straight blue line is the number one. Oh, what are these little round blue dots for? Aha! They're showing us how to make the number one. And you spell it O N E 1. This is a purple number two, and it comes after the one. Oh, should we make it with these little green peas? No, these are candy. Zip, zap, zoo! Let's make a number two. We did it! Two comes after one, but what comes after two? You're right, the number three is next. Good job. Bring in the dancing yellow balls. Round and round they go. One, two, three. Squitch over a little more. Perfect. See, three is easy to make. And this is how we spell it. Here comes the number, four. It's yellow like the sun. Come on, little balls. We need you to do your magic. R4 needs three straight lines, please. Hmm, it looks a little messy. We just need to straighten up. And that's a four. You're learning numbers, friends. Ooh, do you know this number? Maybe these green balls will help us figure it out. We know it comes after four, so that's a clue. Here's a hint. It rhymes with hive. I know it now. It's a fabulous five. It's our fifth number. Then we have a seven, right? Oops, that's not a seven. <laughs> that's the number six. And here's how to make one. You need to make a circle at the bottom. Then leave a long tail hanging over the top. See, it's a six. Okay, I think you all know this number. It's a seven. Here comes some friendly orange balls. Can they make a seven for us? I think they can. We need a short line on top and a long line down the side. And that's our seven. Isn't it great? Here's an eight. Woohoo! When I draw an eight, I just make a circle and then put another circle on top. Can you draw a circle, friends? If you can, then you can draw an eight. Our eight is done. It's so much fun. We're doing fine. Here comes a nine. Ha <laughs> ha. The peas are back. Okay, peas, please make a nine for us. It's like an upside six with a circle on top and a tail underneath. Finally, we have a 10. We make it with two numbers, friends. The first number is a one. The second number is a zero. And that's how we get a 10. Let's do some math next. Math only looks hard, but with a little practice, it is easy. We'll try this one first. There's something in this treasure chest that can help. Oh, we should count these jewels. Nice. What does one plus four equal? I'll put the blue jewel here and the green jewels over here and count them. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Now tell me, what does that equal, friends? Seven, five, or three? One plus four equals Five, that's right. So we have five jewels in total and five is the answer. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try another one. This one says one plus five. I know we can work it out. First, we need some more jewels. Are there some in here? Yippee, more jewels. Let's get started. Oh, look friends, we have a few blue jewels here. Let's put all of them together. Uh-huh, that's right. Then this red jewel can go here. Let's count. It's one, one, two, three, four, five jewels. One plus five equals what? Is it one or is it three or is it six? If we count all the jewels together, we'll get six. I'll show you now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll try an easier one this time. How about we try one plus three? Treasure chest time. Oh, I wish these were real jewels. <laughs> if you don't have jewels at home, use toys to practice math. So orange jewel goes here and the blue jewels go here. Now we have all the jewels we need. One and one, two, three, right. So do we have six jewels? Do we have four jewels? 
Or do we have three joules? Think about it. Yes, one plus three equals four. Woohoo! One, two, three, four. Good job. Are you ready for another one? This one looks like a good one to try. It's two plus four. I'm sure we can do it. Oh, it's the light green treasure chest. What a lovely color. Are there going to be enough jewels inside? I hope so. Now, where do these go? Aha, uh -huh. there are blue jewels, so they go here. And these green jewels go over here like this. So we have one, two, and one, two, three, four jewels. Two plus four equals what? Two, eight, or six? What do you think, friends? Yes, it's six. Two plus four equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one has a low number one and a high number nine. So we need to figure out one plus nine. The purple treasure chest will help this time. Wow, there are so many jewels in this one. We have lots of blue jewels and only a single orange. I'll put it here, and the rest all go on the number nine. I wonder if they'll all fit. Now they're in nice, neat rows. There's one yellow gem, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue gems. Do we have one gem, 10 gems, or six gems in total? If you said 10 gems, you're right. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten gems. Math isn't so hard after all. I think we're ready for another one. This one is two plus six. Let's do it together. Here's the treasure chest. And here's the key. Open, Sesame. Inside, we'll have two plus six gems. There are more orange gems than green ones. Then green gems go under the two. Here you go. And the orange gems go under the six in rows of three. One, two. And one, two, three, four, five, six jewels. What does that add up to? Two, four, or eight? Shout it out, friends. Some of you said eight. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time for another one. This one looks interesting. We just have to add the three and the seven together. We can do it. Our jewels are in the green treasure chest this time. I'll put in the key and give it a twist. Ooh, more pretty jewels to play with. I'll put these blue gems in a straight line over the three. And then all the green gems will go over the seven. Maybe I'll save them for a craft later. Hmm, let's count them. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus seven is what? I figured it out. It's 10. And if you count with me, then you will see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great. I like this blue one. Blue is my favorite color. Hmm, it reads one plus six. We should try to solve it. I wonder if these treasure chests once belonged to pirates. That would be so cool. Or maybe the gems belong to a queen. Do you think she used them to learn math? And then she'd put them back in her crown at the end of the day. <laughs> okay, it's time to count. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's figure out what one plus six equals. It's seven. We can count the gems to make sure that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. We only have a few left to solve. What does this one say? One plus eight. No, that's not an eight, it's a two. We need our gorgeous gems again. Open up, treasure chest. There aren't very many gems, friends. Let's see if we need more. Oh, we have enough. One and two are very small numbers. One, one, two. Here are the possible answers. Do you see the right one? Yes, one plus two equals three. One, two, 
three. You're really good at math, friends. I want to try this purple one next. Seven is the bigger number here, so the answer is higher than seven. I have so many treasure chests. Too bad they're not filled with gold. I'd be rich. <laughs> now we can flip them out. I should be careful. I don't want them to break. I'll slide these ones under the seven. There needs to be seven gems here. And this lonely green gem goes under the number one. Okay, let's count them first. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the five and the six are less than seven. They're not correct. That leaves eight. Let's see if it's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We were right. Cool. We have just two math questions left. One plus eight? That's a thinker. But I'm sure the gems will help us. Let's open up the chest. Wow, I think the blue gems look like drops of water. The yellow is for the number one. And all the blue gems go under the number eight. The yellow jewel reminds me of a dandelion, by the way. It's so pretty. Let's count. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a number bigger than one and eight. I see it. Do you? Only the nine is bigger, and that's our answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, friends. We're almost done with maths for today. This is two plus eight. Don't worry, it'll be easy. We just need our trusty treasure chest filled with gems. Ta-da, it's open. Now we dump them out. Plip, plop, plop. Do you think you'll be able to do math on your own, friends? Yay! Having you help me make math fun. It's gonna be my favorite subject in school from now on. Let's count. One and two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the answer to two plus eight? Is it two, 10, or eight? Aha, it must be 10. Two plus eight is 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're right. Yay, we did it. Remember to hit like and subscribe for more playtime fun. Bye, friends.